Today I decided to check out 5 PvP texture packs that claim to actually boost your skills in PvP. Apparently they're supposed to boost your FPS making it way easier for you to go ahead and get combos on people. Watch the videos at the very end, trust me, it will actually shock you. Hello YouTube, welcome back to yet again another video and today I'm going to be going over the top 5 PvP texture packs that you guys need to go ahead and check out for MCPE 1.20. I'm super excited about this video because the texture packs typically don't change from Minecraft version to version unless they're adding in brand new PvP items such as the brand new crossbow that was added back in 1.14 or 15 I believe and obviously we needed a brand new PvP texture for that but other than that they don't typically change too much and then the netherite armor in 1.16 but anyways that's enough of me going ahead and talking about it let's go ahead and show you guys these texture packs. Coming in at number 5, we do have Online's PvP Texture Pack, and again, you guys can go ahead and find these down in the description below, but let's go ahead and check this out, and obviously I can see that they do have a clear UI, so it's still loading in, and look at that, this is really, really cool, so I believe they have changed this screen as well, so definitely very, very nice UI, and I do have my Texture Pack testing route, so let's hop on. So we are on the world right now and this is what the armor is going to be looking like so honestly pretty minimalistic and a lot of people seem to like it. I wonder what this stuff is going to look like with armor trims especially if you're changing the texture of it. Do we need to go ahead and change a lot of this stuff as well so definitely keep that in mind. Right here is going to be all the food that they have inside of this texture pack so it looks really really good. Here is how the lava and water are going to look so they changed it up a little bit and they also do have these weapons and and tools that you guys can go ahead and check out here so take a look at the pickaxe and let's go ahead and see if they i'm actually curious if they have like the small sword so you guys can see the fishing rod and it doesn't look like they have small swords let's go ahead and put a sword in our hand real quick so we can go ahead and check it out and obviously the cool thing is that yep they are the small swords that a lot of people seem to enjoy and then we also do have some more items right here such as the water bucket we have the swords actually swords are already here we got the lava we got the water ender pearl actually has a different texture as well we got flint and steel we actually have the potions too which is pretty cool coming over here we can actually find ourselves the ores which actually do have a nice outline and honestly i really do like that especially for uhc I haven't been playing that game mode recently but there's a lot of cool things to go ahead and do over there let's go ahead and check out some of the other things that i just gotta check out which is going to be the bow and you guys know how i feel about bows and especially the pullback and this one doesn't have a pullback so let's go ahead and see if we can get one inside of this video so where you can go ahead and change the colors so it could be like red at first and then it turns green once it's all the way pulled back which honestly is pretty unique and then obviously there's other things that you can do with the fishing rod so nothing was done here but overall a really cool pack let's go ahead and check out the sky real quick and this is what it's going to look like so definitely a really cool texture pack if you guys go ahead and ask me and if you guys want to go ahead and check it out it is going to be down in the description below and also let's go ahead and check out the pause menu real quick let's see what else we got and look at this dark UI this is so so cool guys so honestly I'm so excited to bring these back and as you can see clear chest UI as well which is actually a little bit different actually it is the same okay but yeah definitely really really cool so highly recommend checking out this pvp texture pack but let's go to jump into the number four spots Coming in at number 4, we actually do have Dryad, and I gotta show you guys this texture pack because honestly, it is one of my favorites. So it doesn't really change much when it comes down to the background screen. So you still have the normal panoramic screen right here, and it's actually going to be the Cherry Grove trees, but it does add this clear UI as well, which is pretty cool. But let's go ahead and jump back on the texture pack PvP world, and you guys gotta go ahead and see this. So we are on the road now, and you guys can actually see that it's automatically way brighter than the last one. Pressing E on our keyboard or basically opening up the inventory will actually show that it does have this plain blank inventory, which is pretty cool. So more like a dark theme. And then here's what the creative menu is going to look like if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. It's pretty much the same thing. And then you guys can go ahead and see the armor sets, which I'm such a big fan of. So we got leather, chainmail, we also have gold, we have iron, we have diamond, and then we have diamond enchanted i believe they haven't added netherite to this so definitely may want to go ahead and tweak this round but it's pretty compact i'm not gonna lie so 
as you guys can see let's go ahead and check out these swords so they do have the mini swords as well which is definitely pretty cool and they also do have these custom bows so let's see what happens can we pull it back and actually still no one that has done it for the bow so i'm hoping to go ahead and see that very very soon we also do have all of these different weapons right here which is really cool let's go ahead and open up this chest and they have so much going on so you guys gotta go ahead and check this out we also do have the fishing rod so if you guys want to go ahead and check it out as well and there's not much going on with the fishing rod rest the bow let's go to see the fishing rod nothing there and then they also do have this like ring around the oars which is pretty cool a lot of people seem to really really enjoy that and then we also do have the flowers as well which they don't really change anything in pvp texture backs but let's go to take a look up here and see what the sky is looking like i believe they have changed it or okay so the only problem with this pvp texture pack is the sky blocks may be broken and it may be working on mcpe because that is a feature on mcpe that it can have moving skies so definitely something to go ahead and keep in mind but honestly i'm pretty impressed with this a lot of different things going on especially even the enchantment table that we had going on over there and we also do have the armor which i'm really impressed by checking out the lava and water nothing really done over there but you guys can go ahead and check this out for yourselves but let's go ahead and jump into the number three spot and here's what the food looks like but let's go ahead and jump in coming in at number three we actually do have vipers pack and this is actually pretty cool when you think about it because we don't really see too many youtuber packs but this is for him hitting 30,000 subscribers so big shout out to this guy but let's go ahead and hop into the world so we are on the world right now and i can already see that they have probably done something here the leaves are a little bit weird i'm not gonna lie i'm just looking at them and that's like the first thing that actually stood out to me so they have changed the cube map completely which is definitely pretty cool but definitely will go ahead and take some getting used to take a look at the leather arbor right here we have leather chain mail gold iron and we also do have the purple diamond armor as well so you guys can see it right there so really really cool stuff and then we have purple diamond enchanted and this is actually the venom version of the pack i think i'm going to put number two as the dark blue i like blue a lot better than purple but let's go ahead and take a look at this this is going to be the water bucket we also do have the bow and i hope viper actually did it no he did it no one did anything with the bows yet we gotta go ahead and see it maybe no one's gonna go ahead and do it i want to see a texture pack that does something with the bowl pullback but let's go ahead and check out look at the chest and you guys can see right here it is ready to go it is a clear ui so really really cool stuff and you guys can see here that we do have some pretty cool stuff as well which is going to be the tools and we also do have the food over here which actually has a lot of a lot of things over here so i'm actually curious about this guys we do have okay so this one doesn't have the the outline around the oars and i was actually kind of expecting it but it looks like it doesn't have it it's kind of like these four dots which obviously is a pretty interesting choice and you can see right here here's a good example of the texture pack it's basically a one by one like grid pretty basic no extra texture but very very interesting and they also have changed the color to this more of a turquoise green which is pretty cool and here's also the sky and you have that giant moon up there so highly recommend checking out this pack if you guys are interested in this color and there's also the lava and water nothing changed over there and here is the pause menu as well pretty much the same menu that we've been seeing throughout all these packs but anyways on to the number two spots coming in at number two we do have cryogen so let's go ahead and check it out it is using a clear UI, so go ahead and take a look at this. Really, really cool stuff. So we are on the world right now, and we can actually see that this looks absolutely sick. So we can see that there is leather armor. We do have chain mill right here, which is one of those armor sets that doesn't get used too much in Minecraft. Obviously, you can get it from villagers, but for PvP, we're not using it. But let's go ahead and take a look at the gold armor. Nice and shiny. Iron armor as well. And the diamond armor. Such a big fan of this room be red that they're going for very glossy very shiny pressing e on our keyboard will go ahead and bring us to this menu right here seems like a lot of these packs use a lot of the clear and a lot of people are just looking for that i guess let's go ahead and place down this grass and we can see that they have changed the cube map once again we do have oh okay this looks so cool with the chest i'm not gonna lie guys such a big fan of everything that this pack is doing the golden apple definitely a very interesting choice that they got going on here and they have changed some of the other food as well here's all of the tools that they got going on and they also do have the bow in the moment of truth guys have they done it have they actually added it okay nothing added for that but obviously so 
obviously, I guess a lot of people are just not into having bull pullback indicators, but here we go again. So literally three out of the four packs have showcased so far have this right here. They actually have the outline, which is actually a really interesting technique that they're using for these texture packs. And let's go up here and the sky box is broken, unfortunately. But what's cool is we can go and use this on MCPE and it is perfectly fine. So definitely keep that in mind. Water and lava has not been altered, but let's go ahead and jump into the number one spot because you guys will be shocked by this one. Coming in at number one, we do have Balls Pack. We gotta go ahead and take a look at this. This pack is legendary. And as you can see, it actually goes back to like the old screen. I don't know what update this was, but this is definitely pretty nostalgic for a lot of people. And it does have this clear UI as well. So let's go ahead and hop right in. So we are in the game now and everything is super bright. Let's take a look at the armor. So we got leather, chain mail, gold, iron, and the diamond looks absolutely impressive. I don't think they have done anything with the bow, but all the bows in this pack have been pretty interesting. So maybe eventually we'll come across a pack that does something with the fishing rod and also the bows as well right here is going to be the food they actually have done some changes to it which is pretty cool we also do have some of the tools over here that you guys can go ahead and take a look at so a lot of different tools and we also do have the chest nice clean chest ui and we actually oh they have done something a little bit different here which i like which is like fully clear even this menu right here because like pretty much they actually have done half of it on the other packs but this one is fully clear which i'm such a big fan of and we also do have all the the items here ender pearls looking super nice guys i'm not gonna lie throwing this looks super premium oh whoa wait it has a sound wait what is it i'm gonna teleport away oh what oh my goodness so it has like a custom sound that's so cool and also here is the ores super nice stuff and i'm actually curious if their sky block is gonna go ahead and break on this one or is a static and yup it is a perfect sky box right there looks very very nice kind of like a galaxy and it just goes up into the sky so overall i'm super happy with these five texture packs that i've showed you guys and hopefully this actually boosts your pvp experience and they have awesome also changed the lava look at that guys so they have made a lot of different improvements also changed the cube map of the world so it's going to be a different color of grass and i'm just super hyped for this guys so if you guys want to go ahead and see more texture packs leave a like on the video and i'll see you guys next time for the next video on shift replays bye